having a good day. Today, we are learning about Sylvia Earle, American scientist, marine biologist, and aquanaut. What is that, you ask? That's a lot of titles. Marine biology is the study of sea creatures and plants that live underwater deep in the ocean or ponds or lakes. An aquanaut is a scientist who wears a special suit like an astronaut that helps them dive deep into the water to explore the depths of the ocean. This is what Sylvia did. An aquanaut and marine biologist. In fact, she's still alive today. This is Sylvia Earle. When she was a child, she loved the ocean. She dreamed of diving deep to the bottom and discovering all the plants and animals that lived there. She grew up on the beaches of Florida and followed her dream to become a marine biologist. <gasps> oh, hey everyone, I was just busy exploring the depths of the ocean, which is actually really hard because you need special equipment. You need scuba diving equipment. Now scuba is a special word because it's an acronym which means each letter in the word stands for another word. SCUBA stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. It's basically a special vest you put on and a mouthpiece that helps you breathe underwater. You need a special license to have one. I have my scuba diving license. Maybe I'll take you sometime. Sylvia also had one. Let's dive down and see what's going on. <gasps> Sylvia began to study algae, which are types of plants that live in the ocean. Different kinds of algae live in different bodies of water. There are seven seas in the world, or seven oceans in the world. There's the Arctic Ocean, the North and South Atlantic Ocean, the North and South Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. Cynthia studied them all. Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. What's the difference between a sea and an ocean? Dr. Piped, I have some questions. It's time for a beaker break. <laughs> you rang? I did ring. We are busy learning about American scientist Sylvia Earle, marine biologist, aquanaut, and the woman who holds the record for the deepest dive. What do you have questions about? My question is, what is the difference between a sea and an ocean? Oh, yes. And what is it? I don't know. <laughs> well, interesting question. They are very similar things. And ah, sometimes people use both words to describe the same thing. That's confusing. <laughs> seas tend to be smaller than oceans. Oh. And seas are surrounded by land. Oh, okay. So that makes sense, I guess. Oceans, bigger. Yeah. Seas, smaller. And touching the land. Are both oceans and seas salty? Yes. Okay. Oceans and seas taste like salt, Whoa. while rivers and lakes are fresh water. Mm -hmm. Oh, we drink fresh water, but some fish and sea animals only live in salt water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just depends what kind of animal it is. Well, did Sylvia study all of these animals? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. marine biologists study all animals and plants in rivers, lakes, oceans, Seas, all of it, even ponds. Oh, there are lots of different kinds of bodies of water to learn about. And over 20,000 types of fish in the world. Whoa, that's so many. I only knew about five, and those are the ones I saw in Finding Nemo. <laughs> Thanks for all this information, uh -huh. Pipette. I always learned so much from you. Oh. oh. Well, have fun learning more about Sylvia and keep on doing your riveting research. <laughs> Thanks, bye. my pet. Bye, bye bye. Oh, gee, you know, I always learn so much from my pet. I love diving deep into information. 
let's go learn more. I've been consulting my dive companion and I've been learning more about Sylvia Earle. Did you know that she joined a team of aquanauts and dove deep into the ocean to live in an underwater home for two weeks? Imagine living underwater for two weeks. Let's go see what that looked like. In 1969, Sylvia joined an all-female dive team that lived underwater in a special underwater-proofed home for two weeks while studying different creatures and plants. That's right, she was underwater for two whole weeks. Wow, that would be so cool living underwater, but I think I would miss the fresh air. And you know what the fish miss? Fresh water. Us humans are having a real problem with our littering and polluting of oceans. Let's go see how that affects the fish. Ocean pollution and littering is becoming a big problem in the world. We can do our part to help the fish by keeping garbage out of the oceans and recycling properly. By doing this, we can save our water and keep our fish and plants happy and healthy. I found that quite upsetting that we like to throw bottles and different kind of wrappers on the side of the road. Those often end up in seas and oceans and lake. Let's do our part to throw out our garbage and recycle properly, and then our fish can have a healthy home. I hope you grow up and learn to scuba dive or learn to go fishing or just take a dip in your favorite lake. Thanks for sticking around and learning about Sylvia. See you next week. Bye-bye.